It's hard to deny Yoshi's charm and witty character design, but what's the definitive Yoshi game? In this episode, I intend to find out. Reboot! <laughs> In this episode, I brought along my friend. We're going to play some Yoshi's Woolly World and compare all the Yoshi titles. So let's get started. The year was 1995. And who could forget that claymation cutscene and music box instrumental leading us into Yoshi's Island for the Super Nintendo. There was just a magic to that game that made it so marketable. And I'm sure it wasn't the fact that it was labeled Super Mario World 2. The mechanics of the game were smooth, and it was a pretty solid platformer. The most difficult part was trying to get that perfect score in every level and failing as Baby Mario was ripped from your grasp. Him. No. I can honestly say though that I enjoyed so many moments in this game. It was the first time we really got a good look at Yoshi as a main character, and the art style was completely different. It just had a certain draw to it that we had never seen before. You had enemies in the background that could jump into the foreground, and all sorts of fun little notions that just made it what it was. Pretty hard to put my finger on it, but as a little kid, I really enjoyed this game. Hey, it looks like Yoshi's a little too preoccupied to save Mario right now. Then we moved on to the N64 era with Yoshi's Story. That game was really fun in its own right. I remember the soundtrack is just something that I think everybody remembers to this day. Yet, nobody really knows what they say. <laughs> I know a lot of people really like this game, but there's something about it that it just didn't grasp me as much as the other ones. I don't know, I, I kind of liked the idea that when you die as a Yoshi, he gets taken off and you have to choose another Yoshi to fight for him. And, uh, and that's sort of how your lives worked in the game. That was a really neat idea. It's a respectable title, but it just didn't really do it for me. The DS had Yoshi's Island, which had you utilizing a bunch of different babies from the Super Mario universe. There was baby Donkey Kong, baby Wario, baby Luigi, baby Peach, I believe. Each circumstance had you using a different baby for a different reason. And that was really, really fun because there were all kinds of puzzles that you couldn't solve until you got another baby later on. That game was pretty tight. It was pretty good. Then you have Yoshi's New Island. A ton of fun as well. A lot of claymation, just like the N64 version. But again, an entirely new game all of its own. Now, if you can't tell by now, I hold Yoshi's Island for the Super Nintendo way up here. I think it was a great platformer, so much fun, and by far the best platforming Yoshi game until the Wii U came along with Yoshi's Woolly World. This is the next game. This is the most recent game in the Yoshi series. And again, there haven't been that many Yoshi games, so it's hard to make a big list of them. But Yoshi's Woolly World, has that draw that I felt with Yoshi's Island way back in 1995. It wasn't until a media event in the summer of last year that I got my hands on this game for the first time and I really, really enjoyed it. It had that same charm and that same uplifting feeling that Yoshi's Island had. And now I've almost beaten the game and I still have that same feeling. The game just feels faster, the mechanics work much like they did on the Super Nintendo. And I don't know what they did to that game, but they really, really tuned it and it feels just like it should. <laughs> Come here. Come here. <laughs> there you go. She just, she just unlocked a new stage. Awesome. Just awesome. Do you want great? Do you want great? Do you want now, the question comes to pass. What is the definitive Yoshi game? I see you back there. Well, it's really hard to say because that's up to your own personal preference. If I were to say what is my favorite Yoshi game, I would say it's a draw between Yoshi's Island and Yoshi's Worldly World. I'm confident in saying that. They're both fantastic games. If you're a classic gamer like me and you like the old school Super Nintendo and the old school Nintendo, you're bound to like this game. So check it out, give it a try. You won't be disappointed. Hey, Blue Pikmin. 
Where are you going? Hi. Going to get some some strawberries? Yeah. We shouldn't have him on the show anymore. He sounds sick.